You found Striker of Enyo, and the following is an excerpt from my main video, I Play Every Xbox Live Arcade Game Part 2, which is a massive three and a half hour experience that I encourage you to check out if you like what you see here. This version was rendered at nearly two to three times the bitrate of the original. Castle Crashers. Developed by the behemoth, Castle Crashers is a side-scrolling hack-and-slash, and it uses several influences from beat-em-ups from the 1980s and 90s. And there's one thing I know for sure is that Rich at Review Tech USA doesn't like beat-em-ups. Beat-em-ups is an ass-kissing, opportunistic fraud. That's the video. That's it. Just You could just stop it here. That seems rather specific, and it's possible he's talking about something else entirely, but I didn't alter that footage. He clearly is not happy with games like Double Dragon and Streets of Rage, not one bit. But Castle Crashers has the power to warm his cold heart. There are some role-playing elements like where characters can earn experience points and level up. The biggest reason really is to play the four-player cooperative gameplay, either locally or online. In single-player mode, if you run out of health, that ends the stage, but in co-op multiplayer, the other players can revive the downed character. There is just so much to do in this game, and everything is designed to be easy to use with players of different skill levels. You have magic, but it regenerates over time. There are several different weapons that you can find, each having different effects. You can even find animal companions that may assist in battle, improve your attributes, or provide another special ability. Castle Crashers has high replay value, and there are several unlockables. You're looking at a good 15 plus hours to complete everything, or you can plow through the main story in under five hours with friends. I originally played with three other kids on PlayStation 3, all under the age of eight, and we all had a blast, picking up new weapons, watching the little animals follow us around, and there are little humorous things that happen spread throughout our playtime. Sometimes the game would get a little hard for them, but it helps having at least one adult to help pick them up when they run out of health. Four-player multiplayer is some of the best around. This is a 9 out of 10, a superb game. Castle Crashers became a massive success. At the end of 2013, it was in the top five most downloaded games on XBLA. But if you ignore the free games, then Castle Crashers was the second best-selling arcade game of all time, only behind the juggernaut that is Minecraft. I fully recommend the Castle Crashers remastered version. There is no reason to pick up the PlayStation 3 or the Xbox 360 version over the newer remaster. Well, that and the 360 version was delisted, so I don't even think you can buy it anymore anyway, even on newer consoles. You can download it if you already own it, but I don't think you can still purchase it. We also have one of the featured characters on the image for my YouTube channel homepage to cross out. I'm crossing off each one of these characters as I play a game that features them. You might remember that the goal is to cross out everybody in this image as I run into them during a game. We are marking off the Blue Knight in this case, which is from Castle Crashers. All right, there we go. Next game. Would you like to know more? Did you like the video you just watched? Then leave a comment, even give me a like. Then head to my channel for more. I got several series like Rage Quit 2, How the F Did I Die, and I even have a playlist for everything related to the I Play Every Xbox Live arcade game. You'll find all the parts, including higher bitrate versions of certain segments and eventually audio commentaries. If you want to see what I'm currently working on, then check the community tab on my channel. It's just right here. This is where I give occasional updates on what I'm working on and mention what's coming up next. If you want to watch the main video where this segment came from, then it should be showing up right about now, on the upper left side of the screen. The playlist for the entire series will be on the lower right. Thank you for any watch time that you can spare. The response on the series has been very positive, so thank you all.